about the BoxyCharm box for October 2015. I told y'all earlier this month that I was going to try my best to get on here before October was done and October's not done yet, so we made it. September's box was the bomb, okay? So I can't wait to see what we have for this month. Let's open it up and see what we got. My box is actually a little bit dented and stuff. It got a little bit beat up. Right, so I'm assuming since it's October and you know Halloween and stuff like that, um, it's gonna be a bit of a spooky box, maybe. So here's the information card here and it says faces of the moon. It says like the faces of the moon. <laughs> I'm about to say the faces of the moon. Like the faces of the moon, a part of us is always hidden. This month, embrace who you are and let the enchanting beauty of all your faces show. Remember, you can always be whoever you choose to be. The stars will align in your favor. Let the light illuminate the darkness, charmers. All right, so that's a boost of encouragement right there. Very nice. On the back of the card that you receive in your box contains all of the information on the items that you receive. And right off the bat, there is a very expensive item in here, okay? And this box is only 21 bucks a month, so yes, the retail value is actually quite high. All right, so the first item I have here is an eyeliner from Lord & Barry. It looks like this. At least the packaging looks like this. This is a full-size item and it retails for $18. So let's pop this open and see what shade it is. All right, it says it's shade 221 dark black. Now, a couple videos back, I was talking about how I have a struggle with eyeliner because my eyelids are so large and bubbly, okay? Um, a lot of my eyeliner ends up like up here when I blink. And even when I don't blink, it just ends up up there somehow. So I tend to use like liquid eyeliner on top most of the time to avoid all of that nonsense, okay? But I'm always on the search for a new eyeliner just to see if there is like a pencil one or a cream one that could work for the top lash line on my big old bubbly eyes. <laughs> this eyeliner pencil is formulated with Kajal and Kohl to provide rich, consistent color. These pencils are blendable and also waterproof. So the pencil's really cute and it actually looks kind of sleek. You know how sometimes um, pencil eyeliners and lip liners tend to look a little bit basic? This one's actually kind of cute and classy, so I like that. So let's see how pigmented this actually is. Okay, I'm excited. So that swatch is very, very pigmented. I am super pumped and it's also matte. So it's not shiny or anything. That's another pet peeve of mine with eyeliners. I don't really like shiny eyeliners. So even when I use liquid eyeliners, I always kind of like take a, an eyeliner brush or an eyebrow brush and kind of dull it down, kind of like blend it out a little bit so it's not shiny. I can't with the shiny lids. <laughs> but this one actually is a matte black. So I can't wait to try this out. Matter of fact, now I already have eyeliner on. Maybe I'll bust a little bit more on. I'm gonna do a little bit on my waterline. See if it makes it more intense. Try not to poke yourself in the eye, Chris. Oh wow, that actually is more intense. Okay, can you tell? Probably not. <laughs> I can tell. Y'all probably can't tell from a distance, but it's okay. All right. Very nice. All right, so Lord and Barry, I'm looking forward to trying this eyeliner out. Hopefully it works fantastic. The next item I have here is from Bella P. Air Cosmetics, and I believe I have like a little kabuki brush I showed in my last uh, BoxyCharm video or makeup favorites or something like that, um, the little kabuki brush. So, so they actually make really nice quality items. This is a cheek and lip stain, and it is a powder. So I thought it was just a blush, but apparently it's a lip stain too. This item is a full-size item and it retails for $19.99. The specs say to use this lightweight, oil-free cheek and lip stain to add a subtle flush to any look. So I have got to see what color this is because I'm all about blush now. So if you've been following my channel, you may know that like I'm actually new to blush and I absolutely love it. I don't know how I lived without it before. I'm wearing a very, very subtle blush today. Um, I didn't really know what color blush to wear with this <laughs> outfit, so I went really, really light on it, okay? All right, so I actually thought that this was a powder blush, but it's looking like this is going to be more of like a cream blush, and I actually do not own any cream blushes as of yet. So this is my first one. Let's take a look at the texture. And it feels kind of just like a lip balm. And you guys are not gonna be able to see it from here. So I'm going to zoom in. Really nice. It's very sheer. It's a very nice flush though. And it kind of reminds me of one of the first blushes that I fell in love with from BH Cosmetics. It's a really, really bright pink, but it looks really, really nice on my skin tone for some reason, I don't know. Um, this one kind of reminds me of that. But it's a very, very subtle, subtle glow. And that's exactly what the card says, subtle glow. It also doesn't really smell like anything. It's not sweet or sugary. It just basically smells like nothing. <laughs> I'm feeling my arm and it feels a bit moisturizing, so it definitely should hydrate your lips. And as far as the cheeks, if you have like more of an oily complexion, you might want to set it with a powder to make sure that you don't end up with too much glow on your cheeks. So because this is my first cream blush, I don't really know how to apply this. Um, 
I would probably start off with my fingers and kind of just dab it on and then like go in with my Miracle Complexion sponge from Real Techniques. But I'm not sure if like that's the best way to apply it. So if you are a fan of cream blush and if you know how to rock it out, um, let me know how you do it in the comments box. All right, so the next item I have here is a nail polish from Cult Cosmetics. And this is a full size item and this retails for $12. So this is actually a really pretty shade of gray. Um, it's like a slate gray, like a really dark gray. And it says here that the shade is Bony, Bony Yards? <laughs> Bone yards. <laughs> the specs say that cult polishes bring you the latest style and color so you're always on trend with their vegan friendly, ethically made, and five free products. I seriously struggle with the word ethically. Did I do it right? Ethically? Ethically. I currently do not own a gray nail polish, so this is fantastic. I'm telling you, BoxyCharm, be on it, y'all. Let's pop this open to see exactly what the brush looks like. It looks like the brush is like a standard brush. It's kind of like skinnier. Um, I believe like Essie Nail Polishes uses a brush that's kind of skinny like this as well. And it makes it really easy to get the corners of your nails, especially if you have smaller nails. So if you tried this brand of nail polish, let me know how they work because I've never tried it before and I definitely would love to hear your thoughts. All right, so we have two more items left in this box. I'm getting a little sad, y'all know how it is. Up next, we have a face mask from Prometo Derma. <laughs> called Metal Derma, and this is called the Rejuvenating Antioxidant Mask. This is a full size product, and this retails for $64. Okay, $64, and the size is a 1.75 fluid ounce jar. All right, this one done blew out the whole box. The box is only 21 bucks a month. This costs $64. Yes. <laughs> it says here that the soft clay in this mask gently purifies the skin and cleanses pores by absorbing impurities. It's advanced antioxidants defend against free radicals to reverse daily skin damage, while its cooling effects refreshes and soothes. I made it through that whole sentence without having to redo it. I almost stumbled at the end. We got through it though. All right, so I'm excited about this product, okay? It is, once again, pretty pricey. So let's take a look at this to see exactly what it looks like and smells like and feels like. I'm totally gonna zoom in on this one because this looks so rich and like, it kind of reminds me of like the way an oatmeal mask will look. It almost looks like something you can eat. Okay. I haven't had breakfast yet, so I'm not going to eat the mask, but it does look kind of delicious. It kind of looks like a yogurt or something like that. <laughs> and I don't even like yogurt. <laughs> no, I know what it looks like. It kind of is reminding me of like a cookies and cream ice cream. Yes, that's what it looks like. The texture is really soft and moussey. It's almost like airy. It smells really nice. It smells really earthy too. This jar, even though it's 1.75 ounces, you're probably only going to need like a very, very small amount. Especially if you use it on damp skin, you're probably only going to need very, very little amounts of this product to kind of get the good clarifying effects. So yeah, I'm excited about this. I don't even have to wash my hands off because it feels kind of like a moisturizer. It's really nice. Once again, if you've ever tried this mask or anything from this particular brand, let me know how it works. Let us all know how it works for you. I'm definitely interested in this one. All right, so we made it to the final item and this is like... I'm, I cannot wait to see what this looks like inside, okay? So this is the Dulce or Dolce Punk Volumizing Mascara. And the reason why I'm kind of excited about this is because this is a very, very large box for mascara. Like, I don't really like buy high-end mascaras, so maybe they all come packaged this nicely. But the ones I get from the drugstore don't be coming like this, okay? Dulce um, also was featured in a previous BoxyCharm box, and it was a lipstick, and it had like the most incredible, luxurious lipstick casing I've ever seen. Okay, like it clicked and everything like that. So let's see what they do with their mascaras. So before I even read the specs, I gotta open this up. I'm just too pumped to see exactly what this looks like. All right, look at this. Y'all see this? All this boxing and packaging? Make sure it's nice and safe. Okay, see, they be doing it up. Look at that. It, it looks so different than any other mascara out there. It says here that this is a full size item and it retails for $24. The Punk Volumizing Mascara's Double XL Brush features both long and short bristles that work to separate, lengthen, and add extreme volume to your lashes. According to the specs, this brush is supposed to be a pretty large brush, so let's see what it looks like. Nice. All right. So one thing I love about it already, and I haven't tried it yet, but the fact that there is a, did y'all hear that? It was like a suction. You hear that? Just a very, very little bit of mascara on the tip of the brush. So raccoon eyes and smudging all up in the inner corners and stuff, not a problem. 
it already seems like it's going to be a very clean application. I can't wait to try this, okay? In fact, I'm actually rocking a new mascara from L'Oreal. It's not like new in the drugstore, but it's new to me. Um, I'm rocking the Butterfly Lashes Mascara and I am in love with it. So much so that I did not repurchase the Lancome Mascara that I was raving about in the Wet n Wild Mascara video. Yo, okay, the sentence is like... <laughs> I'm definitely excited about this mascara and once I rock it, I'll probably end up posting like a picture on Instagram to show you exactly what it looks like, especially if it delivers. Oh yeah. <laughs> so that was the final item in this month's box. I think... And y'all already know, okay, but the items in this box were spot on. I just, I don't have anything bad to say about the boxes ever because they choose the right products each and every time. In my case, the items that I receive are things that I don't have already, so it just ends up working out and it's a really, really fun experience each month to unbox these for you. I love this subscription service, so if you have not checked out BoxyCharm, be sure to do so. I will put a link in the description box for you to check out. As always, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you very soon in another one. Take care. Who invented pimples, and why do they exist? Why do they exist? This thing on my cheek is you are the worst. You are the worst, okay? I can't with you, and it hurts. <laughs> I'm trying my best not to mess with it, but I already know what's gonna happen. It's just gonna hang out there. It's like I had light. <laughs> so what I should have said was, me and my pimple will see you all very soon in another video. Take care. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be all right, ladies. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right, gentlemen. Yes, it's gonna be all right. <laughs> I cannot sing. <laughs> be sure to check out my channel homepage for lots more to watch. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. Have a great day.